Halloween is almost here. So of course, you know, I've got to do some themed cocktails for the occasion. Uh, today, we're going to be making purple people eater cocktails and mocktails. So we're going to be walking through the steps of how you can make both of these steps. If you do like the purple people eater, I also have a purple people eater popcorn ball for Halloween that you can find on the blog. I'll put the link below. Um, and then also you can see I've got my little helpers here today. We have some cute poison vials that are used for our poison apple cocktail. So if that sounds fun as well, make sure to also check out that recipe on our website. So for anyone that might not be aware, the purple people eater is an older kids show um, it had this man in a purple monster costume with one eye and one horn that would run around town uh, so it's very nostalgic and even if you or your guests are not familiar it still looks very on brand with halloween it looks very much like a monster drink um, so it is appropriate regardless all right so let's get to it let's start so we're gonna get started making this. Um, I'm gonna make the actual cocktail version and then I'll tell you how we can make the mocktail version as well. Um, I also like to use tall glasses for cocktails. So you'll be able to see both here and which one you prefer uh, from the perspective of how it looks. So it's really pretty simple to make this. We're gonna get our cocktail shaker ready. This one already has some ice in it and we need just a few ingredients. So first up is something called blue curacao. And this is a cordial. So we're going to use half an ounce of the blue. You can see it goes right in here. Very, very blue. And we're also going to use um, red. So I'm going to use grenadine. This is going to us, give us a little bit of a cherry type flavor. Grenadine is actually made from pomegranate, not cherry, but it's often associated with cherry. And then for the cocktail version, we are going to do one and a half ounces of vodka. You could also use gin, it'll give it more of an earthy flavor. Um, it's really your call, but any type of plain vodka goes well. You could also play off the flavors and use something with a citrus hint to it, like lemon. All right, so there's our vodka. And again, we already have ice in here, so we are going to give this a really good shake. You wanna shake for at least 30 seconds, where this uh, canister here is very, very cold. That way you know that everything is really chilled down and incorporated together. And then after you are done shaking, we are just going to strain it into the glass here. Now we're not done, so there's going to be more going into this cocktail. You'll see it's not gonna fill it all the way up, which is fine. And all you have to do to finish this is top it off with some lemonade. Let me get this guy a little bit closer. And that's it, you can see it's purple. It is a pretty dark purple. You can see like this one over here looks even darker. If you wanna go for a lighter purple, I would cut down the red and blue ingredients by half and then use more of that lemonade component. All right, and then the garnish, important part, we have these eyeballs. I get these from the dollar store when they have the Halloween decorations up. They have a few different colors of eyes to pick from. Um, if you don't have these, you could also look online. Uh, there are gummy eyeballs as well, but I have found the gummy ones don't float very well. Uh, so they will sink unless you have them propped up on something like an ice cube or you put a toothpick or something in them. So we're just gonna put this little ping pong ball on top here. And then we need our lemon wedge. The lemon wedge, I just cut around and then cut a literal triangle or wedge out of it. And then you wanna cut a slit right there in the middle, just through the rind. Now the rind is what gives us our strength to hold this up. So you don't wanna cut too far up cause it'll just split and fall off. And I also try to cut it in the middle of one of these wedges and not in between them because when you cut between, it really encourages them to separate as well, I found out. So we're just gonna plop that on top here. And there you go, you have it all done. There's your purple people eater cocktail. And this can be made in advance very easily, especially since there's no sparkling component. It's not gonna go flat. Uh, you can just pour a, several of these, however many you would like to make, and put them in a punch bowl or in a pitcher for serving easily. If you do wanna make a mocktail version, you would go about the same way, so you can still use the grenadine for the red, and I would do two drops of blue food coloring to give you this purple, same dark color. Um, and then a vodka, just skip it, and you can just fill this up with lemonade. So it'll give you essentially like a cherry lemonade flavor. If you wanna make it a little bit fun, you can add some sparkling water 
or any other sparkling component like a lemon lime soda. I know when I was a kid, I always thought that made it really special. So that's the quick and easy way to do both of these and hope you enjoy.